hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will learn about how you can animate a background image okay how you can animate a background image in, on your website okay this is the topic let's start now in the, this editor whenever you want to uh, move a background image okay what you have to do just you have to do, uh, use a div tag div is for division and you can give it uh, a class okay let it be i say uh, back image it can be any name okay and just close the div tag see uh, div is for division okay i just mention a property that is class and give it a class name it can be any name as per your comment okay and just close the div tag now after mention this div tag within the body tag we have to define some css properties to animate the background for this i will implement in internal css so before closing your head tag you have to define this style tag okay now you all know that within the style tag whatever you will write will be the properties of css that is uh, cascading style sheets and this cascading style sheets will be a internal css okay now i what i want is i want to define the properties of this particular class and the class name is back underscore image and uh, whenever you want to implement the properties for the class just put a dot sign and give the name of that particular class which i have given okay means whenever you want to implement the properties of any of the class every class property must start with a dot sign and whatever name you have given over here just mention it here okay now first of all i want to place a background image for this particular division what i have to do just give a property that is uh, background okay that is url that is uniform resource locator and the path of the image okay i say uh, image images slash this is the name of the file which i want to set as a background image okay see uh, i have i have saved all my images within this particular folder okay the first reference is the name of the folder and this is the name of the image which i want to show on to the web page okay now after saving the file and just try to refresh the page i have saved the file with this name moving underscore background dot html and just try to refresh it when you when you refresh the page you can see nothing will be there see no background uh, image is there why so because you see there is no content onto the body of the web page there is no height of the body okay for that what i have to do we have to implement one more property that is height and i say let it be 100 vh vh what is vh vh stands for viewport height okay means now you uh, refresh the page you can see you can see the image is over there okay and that is equal to the screen resolution height that is your 100 vh that is viewport height okay now after placing this image uh, you can see there is a top margin there is a right margin also there is a bottom margin also there is a left margin also also this is called the body margin okay by default it remains always 10 pixels but in this example i don't want any margin from either of the side for that what you have to do we have to define one uh, some properties for the body tag okay within the style tag just give the reference of body tag and i say margin let it be zero pixel okay means i am uh, giving the uh, spacing from all the direction that is zero pixels okay and padding that is zero pixels margins it means this is your outer spacing and padding that is your internal spacing okay if you put margin and padding it means uh, your the your uh, spacing from all the direction either the top right bottom or left will assign as zero pixel now just save it and try to refresh the page you can see there is no spacing over there okay this is the background image which i want now the next is i want to uh, animate this particular background see before animation okay what you have to do suppose uh, you are not using this particular image if your image is small in pixels okay if your image is small in pixels then it will not fit onto the entire screen it will not fit onto the entire screen okay what you have to do you have to implement uh, two properties for this particular class one is i say uh, background repeat okay background repeat background g r okay background repeat where it is repeat okay this one repeat i say repeat x this is the property you have to set 
Okay. Means if your image is small and is, is not fitting onto the entire screen, it is it is coming as a thumbnail, then you can repeat that particular image in x axis that is in horizontal direction. Okay. If it is already fitting onto the entire, entire screen, no need to repeat it. Okay. Now, one more property I have to give that is background size. Okay. Means if I want to uh, stretch the image as per the screen resolution, I want that your image should fit onto any of the screen resolution that you have to use this property also that is background size and the value is I say cover. Okay. By implementing these two properties your image will fit onto the entire screen whatever size of the image is there whatever screen resolution is there it will fit onto the entire screen. Okay. Now after mentioning uh, these properties I want to animate this now. Okay. I want to move this uh, background image. Okay. For that purpose, I have to use uh, some animation properties. In my previous videos, I have uh, told you that uh, how to implement animations uh, in, in your uh, web page with the help of uh, some CSS properties. Okay. Uh, I say I have to give a property that is animation. Animation is a property and give it a name. It can be any name. Let it be uh, animate, let it be animate underscore back. This is the name of the animation which we will make okay which I have we have to make okay you can give it any name and then I say 10 s that is the duration duration of the animation that your how many in how many times uh, your animation will run okay your animation will run in uh, within 10 seconds okay this is the duration of the animation and see if I leave this uh, right now see what will happen that your animation will run only once. Okay, your animation will only run, uh, runs uh, will run only once. Okay, what I want is I want to repeat it infinite time so that your animation will keep on running, keep on running. It will not stop. Therefore, that what we have to do, we have to do, we have to implement one more property that is infinite. One more value, sorry, that is infinite. Infinite means your animation will repeat n number of times. It will not stop. Okay, this is as per the requirement. Okay, now after giving these. Uh, uh, values to this particular property this is the name of the animation this is the duration of the animation and this is the infinite that I want to repeat the animation now now to make this animation what you have to do at the rate keyframes okay and give the name which I have given at the top and define the properties over here okay now at that keyframes defines that I am going to tell that what kind of animation I want to play and this is the name of the animation I have to give it over here. Okay. Now you, you see uh, whenever uh, you want to play animations, animation has some sequence, animation plays, runs always in sequence. Okay. I want first sequence is uh, from okay. and uh, second sequence I want is to. Okay. Means this is the starting sequence and this will be the ending sequence means from where I want to start the animation and from and to where I want to end the animation I want to define it over here okay see uh, in this particular thing in this particular uh, thing I have to move the background I have to move the background it means I have to change its position okay it means I have to change its position for that purpose you have a property that is background position so that uh, before implementing that pro property over here what you have to do you have to implement uh, this property over here also I say background that is uh, position I say 0 pixel and 0 pixel it means this is the initial position of your background image that is x axis and y axis that is in horizontal and vertical direction ok now what I want is I want to change this position now from in this sequence just define the same properties okay because this is a starting sequence and it will it, it will always from uh, 0 0 pixel what is 0 0 pixel this is a 0 0 pixel at the lower at the top at the up, upper left corner of the of your screen okay this is the starting coordinates okay that is x and y okay now from and to i say uh, background position now what i want is i want to move the background in x axis direction just uh, change the value of the first 
x axis parameter i say let it be minus let it be 4000 pixels okay it means your animation will run from 2 from 0 pixel to minus 4000 pixels in x axis direction okay it means it will uh, uh, it will move in x axis towards left direction okay now if i uh, try to uh, save and try to refresh it you can see just refresh it you can see your animation starts moving your background starts moving so you see it's not uh, that animation is smooth animation is not smooth you can see okay it is repeating itself now to make this smooth animation just change the timing okay i just let it be i say uh, 40 second save it and just try to refresh it you can see okay uh, let it be uh, 20 seconds like this you can see at the starting of the animation it is going slow whenever it ends it will it will slow down see the animation is slowing down see it is slowing down okay when it will repeat again it will slow down again and run the animation then fast okay see okay i want to make this smooth animation for that purpose within this i just have to define one more property that is linear means it will run the animation in a constant speed okay linear means it will run the animation in a constant speed save it and try to fetch it now you can see your animation in is running in a smooth order okay whatever duration whatever seconds you want to mention just mention it over, over here you can animate any of the background as per your requirement okay as per your will okay you can see this is a, a background moving background image now if i want to more uh, it uh, more if, if i want to make it more attractive what i have to do i want that uh, within this particular body within this particular sky background i want to place a flying word image or a flying word image okay for this within the body tag you have given the div tag within this dis this div tag just place an image image source and i i have placed my birds image within this particular folder and that uh, image name is this one fly dot gif okay this is the name of the image this is animated uh, gif format okay and this is the folder i have placed my this image within this particular folder only just save it and try to refresh it you can see you can see the uh, uh, background uh, within this particular body you can see uh, words are flying now i want to place it over here at the middle of the screen okay this is as per the requirement that uh, where you want to place all the things okay now i want to place this image over here over here what we have to do just define the properties of the image tag just define the property of the image tag okay now this i want from top direction i say let it be it, it will be it should be uh, 400 pixel down and from left direction i say it should be uh, 300 pixels shifted okay to make this top and left uh, margin works we have to implement uh, one property that is position i say absolute position absolute means uh, whenever you want to uh, set the margins of any element from top from left from right and from bottom okay you have to place this particular property that is position absolute then only your your this these two properties will work okay save it and try to refresh it you can see your image is placed over here okay uh, you can position it is it uh, on any of the top and left positions see see this is the background uh, moving background image with the flying words okay you can see onto the web page this is as per your own requ requirement if you want to implement on your website you can implement on your website okay on any of the things okay understood now i hope uh, you all understanding these concepts okay if uh, all of you are understanding my concepts and liking my videos please uh, uh, like comment and subscribe my channel thank you